Look at them. They're so cute. <gasps> Carby, you're being attacked by a snakey boy. And now you're eating a fish. Dun, 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 dun. The forest is on fire. We must save it. Come now, Carbuncle. Carbuncle just says, Go, go! Arle, Arles, Arle, Arles, Adventures. Magical jewels for the Game Boy. Welcome to the amazing world of Arles Adventure. To begin, please enter your name. Uh. That is me. Whoa! At last, we made it. This is Choco Village. What the? Looks like we got here in time for the festival, too. I wonder what sort of things we'll see, Carby. Goo goo! You two might want to back up a bit. There's a magical barrier about to form on that hill. Puyo Puyo. Oh no, that Puyo's heading towards it. Hey, come here, quick! That was close. Are you alright? Puyo Puyo! So, you're fine? I see. Well, I'm glad you're not hurt. Puyo Puyo! I mean, you mean you can talk with Puyos? I can't talk with them, but I can sense their feelings. Anyway, never mind that. You can't just go around creating barriers all of a sudden. It's dangerous. It ain't me making those barriers. They appear by themselves around this time. Is there any way to stop them? Put it this way, even a tough guy like me can't bust down that barrier. It'll be gone by tomorrow, but until then, there's nothing we can do. Do you know why they appear? Who knows? I hear it has something to do with the hero. Satan usually knows more about this sort of stuff. Oh, so Satan's here as well. Maybe I'll go ask him then. If only I knew where he was. My guess is he's probably chilling in his villa. Thanks a lot, tough guy. Hey, don't be giving me no nicknames. Oh, it's a little RPG. Ah! So, there's a legend passed down in this village about a hero. Once Shezer the Dark Wizard get... Get my hand... Get my hands on those powers. My own magical power will become the strongest this world has ever seen. But seeing as you're here, I'll start by getting my hands on you. You wanna do what to me? Get away from me, pervert. No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. Ah, forget it. I'm too busy for this. Farewell. Um, yeah, this was a, this is a Japanese game that never came out in America that somebody translated, and now it's playable. There's a great big hole in the bridge. Guess we can't go that way. Uh, yeah, and I figured, uh, I love me some Puyo Puyo, and I think the characters are adorable, so why not? All right. Oh. There's some sort of magical gate in the way. Huh. We're in a village of some kind. It says, left to Spurt Island. I am Rulu's bodyguard, Minotaurus. Moo. I hear there's a load of dungeons around this village full of treasure. Moo. I'll find them and give them all to Lady Rulu. It says, the hero festival is seeking new contestants. Guess the festival's happening here later. I am Ralu, the most beautiful fighter alive. There's going to be a lot of contests held here, and I am going to show everyone my brilliance in all of them. They're still setting up right now, though. All right. Huh? Huh? I haven't seen you around here before. My name's Septum. Nice to meet you, sis. I'm Arl. Nice to meet you, too, Septum. Or Septem, like September. So, are you here for the festival as well, sis? Yep, sure am. With all these people coming to the village, someone may discover my treasured egg. I better go check and make sure it's safe. Alright. Thanks for that information. Ooh! Puyo House. Who? <gasps> Howdy, ma'am. This here's Puyo Farm where we raise Puyos. Heck, you look like you'd be a natural at it. If I had a spare one to give you, I would. Why don't you come back a bit later? 
I wish we could have gotten this in the West. I feel like I would have loved this. All right. What's in here? I don't know if I'm supposed to be, ooh. Can't cross that. I don't know what kind of game this is. Like, I don't know if it's like a turn-based RPG, if it's just like a, like a Puyo game with an overworld. Like, I genuinely have no idea what's, like, what's, you know, what's gonna come at me. Come at me! There's a treasure. There's a downstairs. Can't go that way. Okay, so clearly I am not meant to be here yet. It just, it just left it open so you can, like, roam around if you want. Oh, uh, you can't jump down either. All right, so this was just here so that I can kind of see the world and see what's to come. Spirit Mountain. Puyo Farm. And then we go this way. So far, I'm digging the aesthetic. Let's see. What's this? It says, right to Satan's Villa. That's what's where we're going. Wait, are you down here with your egg? Oh. Is this a castle or a town or? What are you? What are you? No, I'm so sorry. Uh, can't go that way either. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go straight into the thingy. There's a little key symbol, and I I don't know if those are health? And you can raise Puyos? I don't know what this game is trying to do, but it says right to Satan's Villa, just around the corner. You got it. Is this his villa? Satan's room. Who are you? I'd give anything to see that magic the hero used. Neat. The hero's only famous because he used magic. So if I use even greater magic than the hero did, I'd be even more popular with the ladies. <laughs> he hasn't changed at all. Even Carby's speechless. No? Well, well, if it isn't Arl and Carby. Hey there, little carbuncle. Aren't you just a little cutie? Cute, cute, cute. Carby doesn't seem to like that. So you made it. Apart from the festival, I have an extra special event lined up for the two of you. You're in store for a real treat. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, anyway, what's with this hero and that weird barrier? What? Mm, as you can see, I'm a little busy right now. There's an elder who lives next door. Get him to tell you about it. Thanks. So helpful. Ooh, is that the elder? So all I need to do is give it to the girl when she gets here? Very well, goodbye. Hello there, are you here to see the festival? Yep, I'm really excited to see all the contest. Yeah, I'm excited too. Not only is today the day of the cont contest, but Today's also the day that my dream becomes true. What do you mean? Ah, uh, nothing. Anyway, see you around. Oh. Huh? Gone with the wind. Uh, hello. Ooh, a doggy. Woof, woof. Wait, no. Clearly I, I am not a dog. I am the elder of this village. What is the purpose of your visit, my dear? Can you tell me about the barrier, doggy? I see. So you wish to know about the hero's barrier. Although I must inform you, I am not a dog. There is a legend passed down in this village that tells of a hero and his magic. By controlling the power of the stars, he created a barrier that surrounds this village. Ever since then, when the stars are aligned, perfect, a barrier appears. He sounds like a really powerful wizard. I wonder why he made the barrier though. It was because he wanted to use a powerful spell within the village. One that borrows the energy from Puyo's. And... Huh! An earthquake! Yes, exactly. The stolen energy that creates an earthquake, just like we had. And then... Hey, that Puyo just turned into a weird card! Yes, exactly. It then transforms Puyo's into cards, like this one. Oh my, what could this mean? Just as planned, sit... I mean, 
someone has managed to use the same spell the hero used. What about the Puyos that are now cards? What will happen to them? The legend of the hero's spell says this. The Puyo are not returned to their original form before the barriers disappear. They shall remain as cards for all eternity. What? So there's no way to turn them back? You must pay closer attention. The legend says if the Puyos are not returned back to normal. So there must be a way to reverse the spell. Doggy, do you know how to turn them back? I am afraid I do not. However, perhaps it is possible that Satan does. Right, I'll go and see him. Thanks, Doggy. Wait, take this card. It might be useful. You received a quote-unquote card. I don't know if you really call it that. And I think I made it clear that I am not a dog. All right. Oh, it's you, Shezo, the creepy wizard. I told you it was a misunderstanding. Just now I sensed a huge surge of magical energy. And if I overheard you correctly, a hero spell has transformed Puyos into cards. How amusing. It's not amusing. Those poor Puyos need our help. I suppose you're right. But first we'll need to gather up all the cards. Huh? Shezo, are you saying you're, you'll help me? Magic powerful enough to turn Puyos into cards? Aye, the great Shezo shall make that my own magic. Arl, all I ask is that you don't get in my way. Why do I get the feeling he'll be getting in my way? Anyway, I better visit Satan. Ah, uh, tell me about it. Oh. Oh, where did he go? Where's Satan gone? Satan? He's gonna carry out our plan. Uh, what plan? Oh, <clears throat> he went into that back room there, and then shortly, there was an earthquake, exactly like we planned. You planned it? Oh, I mean, the earthquake happened so suddenly, I was totally surprised. Hmm, I'm starting to think this is Satan's doing. When I find him, he's gonna get a good talking to. So which room did Satan go in again? The one behind me. Uh, they, okay, cool, you just let me in. Hey, white cloak guy, move out of my way. We've gotta find Satan and help return the Puyos back to normal. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, Satan asked me to give you this as a gift. Here, take this card case. You got a quote-unquote card case. I don't know if we can really call it a card case. What's this for? It's for carrying cards in. Cards? As in the small Puyo cards? That's them. Let me tell you a little secret about them. Inside each card lies a sleeping monster. From here on, different monsters will attack you. When they do, just call out a monster and it will battle alongside you. We call that... Summoning. Make sense so far? Uh, you betcha. You bet it did. Alright then, let's move on. You can summon up two monsters at once. Plus, you get to keep your card afterwards. I recommend summoning two monsters every time. But I've only got one card. You can get more cards by defeating enemies. However, you can only carry up to six at a time. If you want to carry more, put them in your card case and they will automatically get sent to the card bank. What's the card bank? It's a place that will hold your cards for you, free of charge. You can keep up to 256 cards there. You should go check it out when you get time. It's above the mansion on the other side of the river. So, how do you... Do you get how the card case works now? Yep, got it. Excellent, I'll keep going. There's one thing you have to be cautious of. You can't use your card case to withdraw cards from the card bank. You can only do it from the trading machine at the card bank itself. Now, what's a tra- It's the thing that's right next to you. I put some cards in there for you because I figured you'd have a hard time with only one card. So why don't you go and try withdraw a card? Withdraw card. Oh, night puppet! Choose. Shabby Mop. Shrieker. It's like a mushroom. Baby Rat. Alright, cool. I've got all of the cards. How did you go? Did you manage to withdraw a card? Piece of cake. Yeah, that wasn't hard. Alrighty, let's press on. So, now you know how to summon monsters during a battle, but did you know you can also choose your monsters ahead of time by going to menu and choosing battle setup? 
That way they will be summoned automatically at the start of a battle. I recommend you keep two monsters selected at all times, as it is a good way to save time and effort. Now how about you try doing pre-battle setup? Uh, battle setup? I want him, and I want, uh, the mush. Okay. Did you figure out how it all works? Easy enough? When you want to bring up the menu, just push the start button for it to appear. Finally, a few details to know about the monsters. Oh, please tell me. You can summon monsters as many times as you'd like. Also, any HP or MP that a monster loses in battle will be restored once the battle finishes, but if its HP hits below zero, you won't be able to summon it anymore. You can summon it again if you visit the trading card machine at the card bank. Another thing, monsters whose levels are higher than yours might ignore your commands. There's even a chance they could attack you. So be careful anytime you summon a monster. Well, that's all I have to explain to you. Did you get all that? Sure! I didn't know that these Puyo cards were so cool. Yep, they sure are. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and try this out. Sure, wait, what? Mr. Card Monster, come out and play! White Cloak wants to battle. Oh! Interesting! Oh, it's like a little, it's a turn-based RPG, what? Oh no, they bit the little... Yeah, get him. This is too damn cute. This is way too damn cute. What in the hell? I've never heard of this. Uh, what do we got? Whirlwind. Panic gas, okay. It missed. And then I used Whirlwind. And then Arl used Ice Storm. And then the White Cloak healed itself. And then it used Panic Gas. And it's now confused. I see. It looks like Ice Storm did a lot. I guess we can do... We can just tackle him. Baby Rat is confused. And use Protect. Defense increased. Oh my god. Please let the tackle hit. Damn it! Alright, let's see. Keeps protecting itself. Alright, cool. Oh my god, you punched the Night Puppet! I... I've never heard of this game, and... I'm genuinely curious about it. I want to know why I've never heard of this game. Alright, so tackle... And then... I was punched. Yeah, I know that, like, in Japan, there was a bunch of, like, RPG-type games, uh, featuring, uh, Arlie and the... and, and Carbuncle and stuff. Lastly, there's one more thing you need to know. There's a rule here in the labyrinth that if you lose in battle, you will be booted out. Allow me to demonstrate. Wow, what a trip. That could be annoying. I'd better remember that rule. Okay. Oh, I guess this is the labyrinth. Is it like random battles or... Huh. Um, but yeah, I, I remember reading that there was there's a and like looking up and there's a lot of Puyo games that never came out um in the West. Oh, it is random battles. They never came out in the West and like I it I don't know. It's it's strange that they didn't because like there's nothing in this game that's inherently like you know that that would be like oh you know Nintendo of America doesn't want it because it's it's, uh, it's too weird, or it's too, you know, it has, like, some questionable stuff, or whatever, like, I know, um, like, one of the characters' name is Satan, 
but in in a in like some of the games he's been in, I feel like that he had a different name. Um, so like I don't see that as a as like a you know like as a deterrent. So I'm just I'm genuinely curious like what um like what kept them from releasing this in the states. Also, I think it said it was from the year 2000, which means that Pokemon was out. So, like, they clearly knew, like, yeah, uh, RPGs are things that people like. And monster collecting RPGs seem to be, you know, like, a huge fad right now. So, like, why wouldn't they release this? This is weird. You know? And I, I guess, like, the the... The franchise didn't have like a, a pull here because you know over there it was it was a lot easier to sell uh, a game like this because they they're already and over there I mean Japan because uh, like they already know of uh, Puyo Puyo so and then they also had like all these other games like um, the what is it Mado Mado Mo, 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 some, I don't remember what it's called but there's a bunch of like dungeon crawler games starring Arl um, or Arlie on like the Genesis and like that kind of stuff. So, um, so like, it's just weird that, it's just weird to me that they never released this here. Cause uh, even if it didn't have that, like, you know, name brand recognition when it came, like if they brought it to the States, uh, like it did in Japan, I feel like they could have done something like it, just the fact that it was out and it was this type of game, I think would have been enough for people to like, you know, like, oh yeah, this looks fun. I, I also understand it has a female protagonist, which at the time wasn't something that they, they kind of shied away from it because they, they were just like, oh, this will never sell. And um, so I understand that angle. But I don't know. Like, I feel like this could have this could have easily done like a good amount here in the in the in the States. Um, yeah, my big things are probably because it, it has a female character and. I know that RPGs, especially back then, um, were like a big gamble for for uh, publishers because they had a, there was a lot of resources that took in order to get it to you know like to localize it and translate it and do all that stuff and making sure that like changing the way the letters are because now they, they have to fit in English so the spacing is all different and all that stuff. But it. it I don't know. They don't seem like. Ooh, I found a, a slug card. Sure. Um, it doesn't seem like the barrier of entry was that high. It's empty. Cool. You didn't even change the, the thing for it. All right. Well, I'm at time uh, for this. I think it's neat. Tuning. What the fuck? I think it's a neat game, and I'm genuinely surprised that it didn't really, they didn't really do anything with this here in the States. Yeah, that's, I think that's my biggest takeaway is that like, why didn't they do anything with this? Um, I don't know. I'm going to, I'm like curious. I'm going to, I'm going to look into it more, but uh, that's it for, ooh, it's a mouse and a mummy. What is D? Oh no, that's like a healing thing. Lightning. I wonder if they have weaknesses. Store power. Shabby mop. Holy arrow. Damn. Oh my god. Oh, they do have weaknesses and such. All right, I'll fight this guy and then be done with it. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I'm also really curious. I want to see what all the creatures are. Uh, so I'm going to look that up too because uh, I'm genuinely interested in this game and if there's any more like it. Uh, you know what's also interesting is that I, I want to say last month or a month ago, something like that, uh, I played Magic Knight Ray Earth for the Game Boy Color or maybe it was a regular Game Boy. Yeah, it might have been regular Game Boy, and it had like a, it was like a similar like top-down RPG with like um, 
turn-based battles and stuff. And it was another one of those games that was translated from... Like, it was translated by, like, a team. And, um... You know, but it never came out in the States, and... It's just, it's just weird to me that, like... I, ne I never thought of... Japan only Game Boy games like it never like the thought of them never occurred to me like obviously I knew they exist right because there's there's games like that for every console but I never I never pictured like what Game Boy ones would be I you know like I've seen like SNES ones there's a bunch of Square Enix RPGs and like there's a bunch of games like that that are clear like that have always been documented as like Japanese only same with NES there's there's, there's some stuff like that um, and then you look further in into like console lifespans and you know they there's stuff like that for for every console where there's like japanese only games and um you know region specific games but i never once looked into game boy for some reason i don't i don't know what the reason is and now i found two and they're both rpgs and they're both very cute because the magic knight ray earth one was also really cute and it just i don't know it's this is strange. Not so fast, kid. Oh. Pokemon Trainer Battle. Um. Yeah, it's just strange that it never, um. Never. Came out here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying the same thing over and over. But. Yeah, this has been. Ma uh, I was going to say Magic Knight Rares. Uh, this has been. I already forgot what it was called. It was like. Uh, Arley's Quest or Arley's Adventure? I know it does. It's not called Puyo. I know that for sure. But I am consider me intrigued. Oh, sure. No, I don't want to. I don't want either. Yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. No, no, no. I'm gonna go on forever. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna save the game. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this game. Um, bye. <laughs>